Hello everybody, welcome to the video all about the Wi-Fi extender for the ASI Air and how to set it up. There doesn't seem to be much on that website about having to set this up. So I thought I'd put this together to show you how I managed to get mine running and working on my home network. Of course, like all my videos, don't forget if you find the video useful, please like it and of course subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, let's have a look. What's the problem? The ASI Air is an absolutely fantastic bit of kit. It's revolutionized my imaging, observing, and being able to live stream stuff across the internet from my computer indoors is absolutely amazing. But it does have its problems. The biggest problem that most people really do find annoying is the pathetic Wi Fi signal. It is just awful its own wi-fi signal is really weak so if you've got your tablet or your phone near it and you're operating it using that as soon as you walk away from the uh, asi air and your telescope it loses signal loses connection oh it's a pain so you really have to stay close to it to keep it connected to see what's going on all the time <clears throat> the other thing is even if you've got a strong home wi-fi and it's connected to that it really picks those Wi-Fi signals up really weakly. So again, it has to be really close to your router to be able to pick the Wi-Fi signals up. And it is a real pain, just keeps disconnecting, connecting, and it's just an absolute pain. Keeps dropping off the home Wi-Fi as well. So it is really, really annoying. So are they gonna resolve this on later models? Some people have modified it and put a little uh, external aerial on i'm not that way inclined because my soldering skills are absolutely awful especially for little things like that but there are ways around you can do without having to resort to that sort of thing because so, a couple of fixes use an external router some of these are quite big and chunky so they do add a bit to the mount um so that's not the route i really wanted to go or there's the wi-fi extender and these are quite small and compact so you can put them on and it's not too bad at all it gives a much stronger signal so you can connect to it and still walk away a little bit from it giving a much more secure and a more stable connection so the asi air doesn't keep connecting disconnecting and it also enables me to put it on my home wi-fi so that i can access it from all my computers and devices in the house as long as they're connected to the same wi-fi network so how do i do that well i've used this wi-fi extension extender zw have got their preferred vonets wi-fi extender which is like this so this is one that i got and it's really really small and compact it's just got two cables coming out of it one for an ethernet port it goes into the asi air and the other one for power supply and that goes directly into one of the power ports on the asi air as well so there you go so you just uh, put it on the side you can see just how small and compact this is and then plug the power cable into one of the power ports on the side of the asi air and it just powers directly off the asi air so that's great but when you're setting up, right, leave the network cable out. So we're gonna show you now how to set this up. So first thing is to connect it to your, one of the power ports on the AAP and leave the network cable out. So the first thing you're gonna do is switch on the ASI air and it should power everything up and you're away. Start the AAP and then connect to the AAP hotspot. So just connect to the AAP hotspot as you would normally. And here you go. And then once you're in, you can then check some settings within the network settings to make sure it's set correctly. So open the network settings and then leave these settings alone. So the wireless hotspot will be the ASI out and whatever the serial number is. And then just leave that as 2.4G Wi-Fi, that's fine. And then in Wi-Fi station mode, leave that set to off. Now, this really surprised me because I thought you had to set the Wi-Fi station mode to on to be able to connect it from your home network. 
but you don't have to. I found if I had that on, it still connected and disconnected at various times, but when I left it off, it all worked fine and kept connected and kept stable. Okay, so once that is all fine, check that, that's fine. And then we're all ready to go. So the next thing we need to do is set up the Wi-Fi extender. Okay, so here the power ports is the side of the uh, ASI Air. And you've got these four power ports on here. So you need to make sure that those are up and running to make sure that they're supplying power. And then connect the extender to one of those power ports that you've activated. And then the Ethernet port here, that's where your extender will connect once we're ready to go. But don't connect it quite yet. So here we go, ready to go. Just connected the power supply into there, but leave the Ethernet cable out. And connect to the extender's Wi-Fi. You should have all the instructions for doing that with the extender. So just connect onto the Wi-Fi for the extender and then connect to the device. Once you're in, click the wizard and then click scan hotspots over on the left here and you should see a list of all the Wi-Fi networks that are available. Select your one and connect to it. So use the credentials for your Wi-Fi and connect it to your home network. Once that's done, it should pick up an IP address. It should all be ready to go. But what I do, where it says network name here, so that's what the network should be called. So what I do, just so there's no confusion when I'm out in the field, in the garden, I call it the same network name, underscore ASI Air, so that I know that when I'm out in the garden and I connect to a network, I'm not going to connect to the ASI Air hotspot I'm going to connect to the home Wi-Fi so uh, that's why I do that just so I can distinguish between the two and then once you've done that you then go into the Wi-Fi security tab and then change the password you can leave it the same at default as your wireless network on your home network but if you want to change the password you can there and uh, make sure it's a little bit more secure okay that's about it really click apply and everything should now be ready for it to work i think i may have made a mistake because obviously i've done this retrospectively after i've set this up so i think i've got everything right but if i've missed the step out let me know and i'll redo the video to make sure that i get it all correct okay that's it once you've done that, the extender should now have a home network IP address. So it's picked up an IP address. And you can check that by opening a web browser on any computer or device set up on your home network and putting in the IP address of the device. And if you've all connected correctly, you should get the login and be able to log into it exactly the same as you did when you were connected to its hotspot. Okay, so if you know you've done that, you're all ready to go. Okay, so providing that's all done okay, we're now ready to connect, connect the AAP to the extender. Okay, so plug the network cable into the ASI Air, and then we're ready to go. So open the app or the emulator, make sure that the device that you're doing this on is connected to your home network okay after switching the AAP on it may take a few minutes for the Wi-Fi extender to start up and connect to Wi-Fi okay so don't think that when the AAP beeps it's ready because the extender will take a minute or two to be ready and connected to your network ready to go so don't be surprised after beeping you wait a little while before it appears on your device and you can connect to it but once it's all connected okay the AAP itself should have picked up an IP address on your home network via the extender because it's mirroring your home network 
So everything should now be connected on your home network. And because the extender has got a much better range at picking up the Wi-Fi, it should not have any connection problems and everything should work OK. So open the Apple emulator. So any mobile device, or in my case, I'm using the emulator quite a lot on a PC. So any mobile device on the same network running the ASI Air app should be able to pick up the AAP. If it does have problems finding it, if you find out the IP address of the ASI Air from your main home router, you can always put the IP address in, but in most cases, I, I've found that it picks it up straight away and then just goes straight in and we're away. And then once you connect, the new beta has got rid of that horrible white opening image, which is fantastic. It's made it a lot better on the eyes when you're out there in the dark, which is great. And then when you get connected, this is the setup screen that you see. And again, they've made that a lot darker, so you don't see that really bright image. They've still got white squares here, but that's okay. Um, that's fine. So once you get in, you should be connected. There it is. And it's all set up using the emulator. Open the network settings, just to check, and you should be able to see here why the ethernet is connected. And that's how it's connecting to the extender. And so onto the home network. So everything should be working. Everything should be fine. So if the wired Ethernet is connected, all should now be very stable. It should connect. It should just sit there and it should be wonderful all night without disconnecting, connecting and all those problems that we saw before. It should just work. Again, don't forget, if you found this use video useful, please like it and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Hope that's helpful. See you again. Bye bye.